Get ready for a funny story joke, where a simple shopping trip spirals into a comedic battle of wits between husband and wife. This isn't just about shopping bags, it's about life's little marital showdowns. With each twist, you'll find hilarious lessons in love, respect, and the art of outsmarting your spouse. So grab some popcorn, settle in, and enjoy this uproarious tale that's as funny as it is insightful. It was a sunny Saturday afternoon, and Emily was all set for her weekend shopping spree. Her husband Tom, however, had other plans. The big football match was on, and nothing in the world could tear him away from the TV. As she grabbed her purse and headed for the door, she called out, Tom, aren't you coming with me? Tom, eyes glued to the screen, barely registered her voice. Now you go ahead. It's kickoff time. Emily paused, a mischievous grin creeping across her face. All right, then, she said, but under her breath, she added, I'll make sure you won't enjoy that match either. Arriving at the store, Emily strolled through the aisles, picking up everything from new shoes to a blender she'd been eyeing for weeks. As she reached the cash counter, she opened her purse to pay. The cashier, a young man with a keen eye for detail, noticed something unusual. Among the usual items in her purse, a wallet, some makeup, and a couple of receipts, was a TV remote. Excuse me, ma'am, the cashier said, barely suppressing a smile. Do you always carry your TV remote with you? Emily chuckled, shaking her head. Not always, but today's a special day. You see, my husband refused to come shopping with me because of a football match. So I brought the remote with me. If I can't have his company, he can't have his football. The cashier burst into <laughs> laughter, clearly entertained by Emily's ingenuity. Moral of the story, she said with a wink, accompany and support your wife and her hobbies. As the cashier continued scanning items, Emily felt a surge of satisfaction. She was about to win this round. But then, something unexpected happened. The cashier stopped, her smile fading, and began returning the items back to the cart. Emily's heart skipped a beat. What are you doing? She asked, confusion etched on her face. The cashier looked up apologetically. I'm sorry, ma'am, but it seems your husband has blocked your credit card. Emily's jaw dropped. Tom had outsmarted her. Moral of the story. The cashier added with a sympathetic smile. Always respect the hobbies of your husband. But Emily wasn't done yet. With a sly smile, she reached back into her purse and pulled out Tom's credit card. Let's try this one, she said confidently. The cashier hesitated for a moment, but then swiped the card. For a split second, everything seemed to be back on track. But then the machine beeped flashing a message that read, Enter the pin sent to your mobile phone. Emily's confidence wavered, but only for a moment. She had anticipated this. Reaching once again into her purse, she pulled out Tom's phone, which she had thoughtfully taken along with the remote. The forwarded SMS with the pin popped up on the screen. Moral of the story, Emily said with a triumphant grin, Don't underestimate the power and wisdom of your wife. The transaction finally completed, and Emily felt victorious. She had outwitted Tom at his own game. But as she arrived home, her triumph was short-lived. There, on the front door, was a note from Tom. Couldn't find the remote. Gone out with the boys to watch the match. The key is with me. Call me on my phone if you need anything. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.